First of all, you need to click the first link on the description and from here get Unity Hub first and then when, you, when it's installed uh, you can click on this link, say yes to everything and it's going to install the right Unity version inside your Unity Hub. So let's open, let's open it now. For you it's going to be empty in here. You need to create a new project. Name it. And create. So here is your empty project. You now need two things. The SDK and the dynamic bonus set. For the first one you need to click the second link on the description and log into to chat and this is what you want you want to download this when it's done look for it on your files and drag it into assets click import now let's go for the dynamic bond set uh, you need to buy it I can't provide it since it's not my product. There is two ways to do so. You can get it from Unity by activating the asset store window in here. Or you can click the link on the third link on the description and buy it on the internet. When it's done, you will be able to import it from your assets in game here import you can close this again and now you're ready to deal with the out here so you can go for the unity package and drag it into the, the assets import in here you need to click reload then close those windows. On maps, if you're very organized, you can right click and create a new folder with your name on it. And in here, you're gonna simply drag all of your textures. Important thing to do with the body and just with the body textures you need to click them check alpha is transparency push them to 4k and apply I'm gonna do the same for the other one now to change the texture you just need to find the right material which is in here body click on it go back to your maps and take the one you need and drag it into this little cute tiny square in here here you go of course you need to do the same for the blush with the right texture on the model there is options you can get a female shape, female body shape, or different antlers. I'm going to show you how to activate them. So you need to open your scene, your avatar, and then click on body in here and on the inspector unwrap blend shapes. Look for the ones you want which are female or antler switch and look magic if you let it that way it's gonna be uploaded that way same for the antlers you can get the other ones or this <laughs> Also, for Christmas, you can activate 
uh, the flicking red nose. For that you need to select both of your body materials and scroll down until special effects and open emission glow and activate emission and glow in the dark. Then one last thing, if you want to change the scale of your avatar, please don't touch the bones. You just need to click on your root in here and in transform you can change the scale of it. If you do that, don't forget to change the point of view. It's on the avatar descriptor. View. You need to align the point of view uh, in between your eyes. So you need to change those values. If you want to see the point of view, you can go into shaded in here and go for wireframe and look this ball is what you need to set up in between your eyes with those numbers yes approximately in here once done you can Hit the FutureChat SDK menu button and show control panel. In the authentication tab, you need to log in with your VRChat information. And then Builder, you're gonna need to click autofix on every single red thing. And then build and publish for Windows. Okay, so you can close the window. At this point, if you have a big blueprint ID error in the middle of the screen, which keeps you from uploading, uh, it means that something is stuck in your pipeline manager and you need to detach it. So name your avatar and check this box and upload and you're ready to play. Have fun.